Hey everyone, this is Donnie Welk, an arts educator with the Bronx Museum. Today I'm going to give you a little lesson you can do at home that I like to call paint and tape. Now this is something I've done with school groups back with the Vendive exhibit where we worked on pattern and symbols and it's something I brought back in with the current exhibit, It's Yours by Jose Parla, to talk about the kind of removal techniques that we saw in those pieces, right? When we looked closely at them, you could see the pieces of poster that were stripped back, the paper left over, the kind of glue and sticky and textured effect those pieces had. And we're going to try to recreate that today. Now to get started, what you'll need is a paintbrush, some paint. I'm using acrylic, but really any kind of paint will do. You'll need a napkin, unless you know, you like making a little mess. A cup or a little jar to hold some water in. I'm using a big towel to keep my space clean. And you're welcome to do the same, unless where you're working might be outdoors, on a fire escape, on a porch, or somewhere where a mess isn't such a big deal. For the project itself, you'll need tape. I'm using painter's tape, but really any kind of hard quality tape will do. You could do duct tape, you could do scotch tape. I wouldn't recommend packing tape or something that'll get kind of crunched and squishy on you. You want it to have a little firmness. And you'll need construction paper. I say construction paper because if you just use regular printer or notebook paper and you put on all these layers of paint, it might get torn on you and well, that'd be a real bummer. So to get started, quite simply, what you're gonna do is put your tape down in a pattern or initial or form, or if you're using small bits of tape, you could even try to spell something out if you want. I just did a D for Donnie. And as you can see, it's not the most circular D. It's got some points and some edges, so you gotta use your imagination a little bit. And because of that, when we add the paint and get to the end of our project, it might look a little smooshy, for lack of a better term, but that's okay. Sometimes the little mistakes really make the masterpieces. So to start, I'm gonna add just some small globs of paint around. Now you don't wanna cover this whole thing in paint, right? Just the dot will do a lot. So I'm gonna put some paint down here at the bottom, up in small dots along the side, up here in the middle, and maybe three more down the bottom again. I'll take my paintbrush, get it just a little bit wet, and start trying to cover up this whole sheet. So it's okay if you paint on the tape because at the end, we're gonna pull it off and see what's left, right? And now when you're putting the tape down, you want it to be really stuck on there. If any parts are sticking up, the paint might get underneath. And while, like I said before, mistakes are okay, and sometimes really make the art piece what it is, you also don't want a lot of paint to get underneath and interrupt the kind of pattern or shape you're trying to make. So you just go, 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 really try to fill that up. I'm gonna try to get this whole middle section. Uh. All right, now just this little bit up top. Cover this top bit. And you can see I'm just going in a nice up and down pattern, not anything too fancy. Because I'm using construction paper, the paint is a little bit sparse. So if you wanna go back and do a second layer or even a third layer and really get the color and the paint on there, that's totally cool too. So now my piece is pretty much covered. And what I would do next is put it to the side and let it dry for a little bit. But I don't know about you, but I don't really like waiting. So what I did is I went ahead and did one before we started. This way I can show you what it'll be like when it's finished. So this is one I painted about maybe 10, 15 minutes before starting this video. And what I'm gonna do now is peel the tape off. You can see in some spots it's still a little wet, that's okay. If it totally dries, the paint might stick and leave some rips or take a little bit of paper with it. So about 10, 15 minutes for acrylic paint is perfect. So now here we go. I'm gonna start t 
taking off my piece of tape here. This top piece first I'm going to start with. Hold it a little bit better so you all can see it. All right, there's one. It's already started the second piece. Here we go. And two. Almost two. Uh, ah, there it goes. All right, here comes the third part. That's three pieces of tape I've gotten off so far. We have one more to go. This one looks like the longest. Hopefully I can do it. Here we go, you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. Hey, there it goes. So like I said, the D might not be the most perfect D. I bet a lot of y'all could draw a better one than this. But it's about using your imagination, making a little bit of art, and seeing what kind of cool patterns come out. You'll see the paint, even for me, got in there a little bit. I'll hold it a little closer. That's okay. This is an activity called paint and tape. I hope you have a chance to do it too. If you do, feel free to share it with the Bronx Museum. And keep an eye out on Instagram for more tips and activities from educators, teen council, and from other artists as well. Thanks so much. See you next time.